I think that's kind of funky. I think that's kind of groovy. I'm liking that. So I will um, try my best to twerk that a little bit. And hey, 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 Donovan. Not as in hey, 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 Fat Albert. Um, <laughs> somebody said to me the other day. And um, I I walked in a room and I went, hey, hey, hey. And then, you know, some little quick-witted um, person like mm huh, fat Albert. I'm like, no, you don't call me fat Albert. You know, you get a fat mutt hole stomped in your ass. But anyhow, it's David and it's the five by five late night. And thank you guys for joining me. Uh, what is going on? I was I pushed this off, pushed this off. I was gonna do it. I came home and had some things to do. It's been such a long, 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 long day. But um, I'm here. You're here. We're here. So uh, I guess we're gonna do it. Um, actually, is it too late to eat Grippos? <laughs> yes, dim with it. Um, is it too late to eat Grippos? And if you guys don't know what Grippos are, they are a barbecue chip. And I think you can go to Grippo, Grippos. Dot. Let me see, cause I don't need to be. Yeah, go to Grippos. Dot com. These are the best barbecue chips ever made. And I know I have talked about. Um. <laughs> to eat Grippo's barbecue potato chips, and I know <laughs> it is what it is almost two o'clock, and I see that's what my chest is hurting. If y'all don't, if y'all don't hear from me, well, I ain't going to put that in the universe. Anyhow, <laughs> go to Grippo's.com, and I've been eating these chips since I was a child. And that was only like 20 years ago. But, um, <laughs> um, and they're just so good. When I moved to Atlanta, um, when I get there, you know, there for several months, and you're like, oh, I want some Grippos. You run to the store. You can't find Grippos in the South. You can't find them anywhere. The When you're coming back from Atlanta going north, the first place you'll see them is in, like, northern Kentucky. Uh, don't ask me why. Do they make voodoo chips? <laughs> oh, you've had Grippos? Oh, Grippos are good. I don't know. They sold them in Texas. Um, but Gripples are so, 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 so good. And uh, because they're a barbecue chip. And here's the thing. The chip itself, because they do sell a plain version of the Gripple chips, the chips it's themselves are not that good. You know, they're just chips. But they use this kind of, it's a barbecue cayenne pepper powder that has brown sugar in it. So it makes it. It has a kind of sweet and spicy thing going on. So you can, and then they're like kind of flat and they break up real easy and you just stuff it all in your mouth. And it's a little bit of, um, fat boy heaven, but, um, <laughs> it's, um, is it, I shouldn't be eating them this late at night. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to put the bag down, but if you want to buy some grippos and you want, don't take my word for it. You have to try them. If you can't get them and get them where you live, go to grippos.com. And um, you can order some. And speaking of websites, and I want to say this real quick, uh, Nikki and I did a hair show a few months back. Um, and you can see that in the 5x5 replay. And also on Real Talk with Day and Nikki, you can see that as well. Um, I think it's in there. It says hair show. And we did a hair show, and uh, we spoke of Carol's daughter. Now, yeah, they are delicious, but they are horrible they're horrible for you this late at night um they're horrible this late hey everybody in the chat room let's play nice everybody <laughs> i have problems with no one <laughs> that's all i want to say but anyhow hey debbie how are you um, anyhow, so um, we had a hair show, and then um, 
we were talking about Carol's daughter. So Carol's daughter is this product that a girlfriend of mine used several years ago to get from like really, really, really processed hair to natural hair. And so now she only goes natural. She doesn't use any chemicals. She doesn't use anything on her hair. But Carol's daughter has a website now on YouTube. So go check out Carol's daughter and look up uh, YouTube. Look her up on YouTube. Anyhow, moving right along. Um, let's see. I just got home. To, well, work was work. You know, I've, you guys too. I, I work with the developmentally disabled community, and so I have a lot of responsibility. But my thing is, people don't seem to um, do their job, and I'm not going to stress that out. So that kind of annoyed me all day. But I know if I'm not on my game, somebody could possibly die or you know or be hurt or injured and so when somebody's in action doesn't how do how do I put it when someone's in action doesn't make it safe for somebody else then that's what I have a problem with so it just kind of annoyed me all day so I was just kind of pissed off and um and so anyhow that's that's that and I'm just kind of pissed off and um, let's take a really quick break and we'll be right back. Exercise is hard. So is maintaining a healthy diet. Of course, neither is half as hard as dying. Sadly, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke kill nearly a million people a year. Even sadder, most of these deaths are preventable with a few lifestyle changes, including regular activity, healthier eating, and not smoking. Talk to your doctor about your risk for type 2 diabetes and heart disease. And if your doctor recommends lifestyle changes or medication, listen. The reason so many die is because not enough are willing to change. You can stop it starting right now. It's your life. Listen to your doctor. Eat better. Get moving. Visit CheckupAmerica.org or call 1-800-DIABETES. A message from the American Diabetes Association. I'm secretly in love.
And we're back. Um, we're back on. Thank you guys for listening. Um, if you haven't checked out the <laughs> the blog, which I just recently changed, it's the five by five dot blogspot dot com. Um, and cosmetically, it's going to change coming soon. So hopefully, I can get that done. But you know, the, today started my work week, so I won't be able to really to work work on it until next. Um, uh Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, but thank you guys for joining me. Um, let's see. Well, we were talking I want to just talk about eating grippos, but we're done with grippos. So here is the big scandal for today. And I get this off of Instinct magazine's website, which is kind of interesting because I would love to see one. <laughs> Have you guys heard about the guy that has two penises so if anybody gets offended and if your kids are up this late and you're listening do not listen to this part of the show because i'm not going to try to be vulgar i don't like being vulgar really that you know, i get a little dirty sometimes but not much but you know this is it's true it happened well i don't know if it's true or not um here's the thing there's this guy that went on reddit and had a interview about this guy who calls himself the double dick dude and i won't say the d word anymore but um it's a condition and it is ca- it's called def- <laughs> it's either diphalia or diphalia and it's a real congenital con- congenital condition that causes him to have two sex organs and <laughs> it's so funny to me because it says both penises are in are in the six inch range, but DDD, you know, double X dude, says one can get as large as seven inches if he's really aroused. So, <laughs> and um, and then he, I've seen the picture, so I, I, in some form it will be on the blog. I'm not going to have it on my blog because you know with Google Accents they don't want you to have anything that's um. Uh, uh, sexual or obscene um, if you're going to have Google AdSense um, as one of your little widgets and stuff on there. So I won't put the picture on there. I did before, but I stopped doing that. Anyhow, it says um, thousands of questions, but he said uh, it says his partners were a couple before they started dating him um, because he has a straight partner, and he ha- which is a female, and he has a bisexual partner that's a male he's bisexual let me tell you this as a gay man i if somebody pulls their pants down and i see two things flopping out first i want to look because curious and you know inquiring minds want to know and then i'm running because that's weird to me (coughs) excuse me that is weird to me and um he said he is happy with what god gave him he's had some past issues as a result of being double pronged I have no idea what that means. Um, he said one issue in his teens, the Y intersection. And if you see the picture, you can go to in, the Huffington Post dot com. It's under weird stories. Um, the intersection. If you think the way they're conjoined, it's at like the base and it goes into like a V or a Y, I guess you say. And it's where his urethra split, uh, his urethra splits into two. And they're like tension there. And then I guess he can use the bathroom bathroom out of both of them. And there was so much pressure that it would make the second one void. And so <laughs> so they did some surgery and some catheters. Ugh. And um, so he hasn't had any problems since. But here's, the, here's what I thought was funny. I guess if you're proud, you're proud, I guess. And if you're proud of what you have in your pants or whatever, it it can be whatever, whatever. But um, (laughs) he goes commando in his underwear. I'm like, why would you do that? You know, he says they're sensitive. So maybe he somebody needs Calvin Klein and um, Andrew Christian come up with some underwear for DDD. But um, he said people have told him it's fake. Some people freak out. I don't know what I would do. I know I would. Me, me and you can't do anything together, you know. And then, and I'm gonna say this. He said he he was able to successfully have intercourse with a female with both of them. I don't know what that means. I'm not too sure. I want to find out. Um, <laughs> I just thought that was kind of a crazy. Um, 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 story. 
<laughs> it's too it's very 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 funny um and then uh they were talking back in the chat room about um the vikings quarterback no yesterday i spoke about i think it's chris cluey i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right and he was fired from the minnesota vikings because of a um of this guy who is the he's a special coach his name is and i forget the name from yesterday mike prefer and he called him a homophobic bigot and um but the vikings of course i know what did we expect them to say they say that he um that he's wrong he was he was he wasn't fired due to his marriage equality activism and mike prefer is now speaking out personally to cluey's response and he says that he vehemently deny today's allegations made by chris cluey i want to clear I want to be clear that I do not tolerate discrimination of any type and am respectful of all individuals. I personally have gay family members. I hate when people say that. That's just like saying um, if you're racist and you say, well, I have black friends. That doesn't work for me, you know, but whatever. And he said, I personally gave family members who I love. I personally have gay family members who I love and support just as I do any family member. The primary reason I entered coaching was to affect people in a positive way. He affected them all right. You fired him. And he said, as a coach, I have always created an accepting environment for my players, including Chris, and have looked to excuse me, to support them both on and off the field. Um, the comments today have not only attacked my character and so did my professionalism, but they have also impacted my family. While my career focus is to be great professional football coach, my number one priority has always been to be a protective husband and a father to my wife and children. I will continue to work hard for the Minnesota Vikings, um, the Will family, and all of our loyal fans. Um, hmm. It's it's a very coin, you know. It's very standard that they had to put that out there so they don't get any backlash because they still never say why he was fired, and you know where's your your performance report? Well, this is you know if somebody's saying I did something that I didn't do, and he's out there publicly speaking of it. Okay, this if he's saying this is why he got fired, here's the real reason: he couldn't kick a field goal. You know, I don't know really anything about football. But, you know, this is why he, he was fired. This is not why uh, I didn't fire from XYZ. So mm, I think he, he was made to say that. And so there's actually, and I didn't get to pull it up yet, but there's actually another uh, player that's saying that Chris Cluey was right, that this stuff did happen. So as this story progresses, we will um, be... Um, uh, um, sharing it with you guys. Let's see. What do we have next? Um, okay, well, let's play another little song, and then we'll come back, and you won't believe who's single. We'll be right back. <laughs>
I think I might have listened to that a couple more times. That is um, New Earth featuring Snowflake. And you know, that's one of my favorite independent artists uh, that I found on ccmixter.net. I think it might be .org. I'm not too sure. Um, But uh, she's the one that did that song that I played every single episode. When I started doing Christmas episodes, I did that. I played it at least once through every episode. And I know you guys got sick of it, but oh well. Um, So that's her. So I like her voice. She has she's one of the voices that can go into like just about any type of song. I don't know if she I don't know if she can rap or not. Uh that remains to be seen. But uh she is uh I, I like I like what she does. I like that. And she is Alex Barosa, who's the one that remakes the song, um, or who remixes songs on C C Mixer. And um I think um um I think that uh, he does a good job. I played Embrace the Taste. You got you guys have heard him, so that's not that big of a deal. So we talked about a man with two penises. We updated the Vikings um, uh, drama, and um, this is something I didn't, I wasn't going to talk about it at first, but I just thought it was kind of funny. And I'm not going to give, give much time to it. There's a man in Utah who <laughs> who is um, starving himself to stop same-sex marriages. Chow, nobody cares that you're not eating food. The government doesn't care. The people around you don't care. You need to eat a burger and get on with it. Nobody has, like Sweet Brown says, anybody got time for that? And um, it's just it's just silly what people get behind. If it doesn't involve me, uh, affect me in some way. Like, what does Whippy Goldberg say? If you don't uh, want gays to get married, don't marry a gay person. Go on about your business. If it's not hurting you, I don't see how somebody love is love. Uh, two gay men get married. Two uh, gay female get, females getting married. Love is love. And if they want to get married, let them get married. It has nothing to do with you. Anyhow, but the update on my e-cigarette that I just started using kind of yesterday, and I must admit, it didn't go very well. <laughs> I started using it this morning when, uh, my after I took my uh, mother to dialysis, and you guys all know about that. Um, and I said, okay, so I, I won't smoke because she, she's very sensitive to cigarette smoke. I can't put cologne on because right now she's very sensitive to uh, any kind of re- kind of strong smells. And if you guys, I don't know if you guys told you, my niece purchased. Um, remember Curve in the green bottle? My niece purchased that one of the new versions it's called Curve Crush or something, and it smells absolutely delicious. Although I had a GQ magazine today. And you know how you go through there and back in the old days when you didn't have any money, well, I still don't have any money, but <laughs> back, like, I guess when I was high school, maybe I was in college, um, and you wanted to smell good, you get, you go to like the grocery store and rip out the, well, oh no, you go went to the library and you ripped out the, uh, the little smelly sample thing and you rub it all over your clothes so you smell like the, smell like the new hotness cologne, but you, you could, but if you sweated in it, it had been gone in like 2.5 seconds. Well, <laughs> I'm going to this GQ magazine today, and there's a new cologne that I want. It's called Blue, B-L-E-U. It's either Day or D, D-E-D-I, I can't remember, um, Chanel. It's divine. I want it. But me and justifying really expensive cologne doesn't work. You know, um, and normally what only time I wear cologne, cologne now is if somebody buys it for me <laughs> for a gift. That's how cheap I've gotten. But I'm like, but it really does smell good. But sometimes, you know, the, the, what it, how it smells and I'm going to go. They sell it at Macy's. So I'm going to go to Macy's sometimes next week and see. Um, I still have, I still have some Macy's connection. So maybe somebody will hook me up. But uh, it smells really good. Cute bottle. Um, but it's by Chanel and I've never wore anything by Chanel. You know, like all the females like Chanel, you know, Chanel bag, Ch- Chanel shoes, you know, Chanel and in that, no, that's Christian Dior anyhow, but it really smells good. So, and I haven't, and that, that made me think when I seen the little smelly strip in there, I'm like, I used to do that. I used to take this little smelly strip and rub it all over my clothes. So I would have the new hot cologne. And if somebody asked me, remember when dry car was relevant, I'm like, Oh, that's dry car. And Noah's goodness well, I got it from the library. 
trust. Um, <laughs> um, what? <laughs> what else? Sometimes I really crack myself up. Um, so the e-cigarette. And so um, I'm on my way home. And so I'm like, because I need the cigarette. But here's the thing. I bought a backup pack of cigarettes. And, and I guess that's, I was sabotaging myself before I really knew uh, what was uh, going on. You know, what I wanted to, before I knew what I wanted to do, I guess I should say. And so um, I start sucking on this thing. That came out a little bit more pornographic than I wanted to. But I start what else did you say dragging on it and so the whole thing about this mark 10 the cigarettes made by mark 10 and i bet i, I bet um what's the what's the company's name marlboro has something to do with it but anyhow um they're ta they're toiting their four whole technology thingy whatever and so and but it, it felt like i was i was you know, you know how you get them really, really, really thick shakes at like at, I think they sell them at Burger King. Don't get them at Sonic because you'll have diarrhea. But um, Burger King, and so I was sucking. And then because I had charged two of the batteries because you know I got the little free charger kit with one battery. Then I bought the one with the six dollar coupon, and um, I'm like sucking, 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 and I'm like nothing's coming out. Although it was, but for some reason, whatever that, the, the, how they use that filter with the nicotine that's in there, um, the, and the vapor, um, and the thing is, I want to know how that's made. There's something in there. There's smoke being made some way, and I need to know because this is not one of those water vapor ones. They say it's vapor. I've seen the water vapor ones, and they actually have this kind of vapor inside, and there's a liquid that you pour inside. That may be how these work. I don't know because this is the first one I've ever had. I've never really done any research, so, um, so I'm sucking on it or whatever, and um. And it just it wasn't the same. And then every time I inhaled the smoke, it I you know you can taste the cigarette smoke, and I like that texture. I know it's horrible. I know I need to stop, but I like that texture. I like that feel, and not only for the nicotine delivery, I like how it feels. And it just felt weird. It just felt weird going into my chest, and I got nervous. I'm like, this thing is going to make me have a heart attack. <laughs> And so I'm sweating. I'm sweating in the car. I'm driving home. And I'm trying I'm giving it my best effort. And so and so um it just my thing is because I don't want my because I smoke in my car and, and, and then to the point to where I don't like because there's film on your windows and all that kind of nonsense and I'm just tired of smelling smoke in my cars. But you know, a lot of times they say when you're a cigarette smoker you don't smell you don't smell other cigarettes. I can. And I don't like, and this is another weird thing, I don't know why I'm a smoker, because um, my mother smoked for years, and I was totally against it, I hated it, but then, it's so addicting, and that's why people need to get off cigarette smokers, it's an addiction, just like anything else that's bad for you, it it is an addiction, you know, there should be 12 step i guess they, I tried the one little, the patch things, yeah, the patches, they did work, but I was going crazy, I was was going crazy I was going crazy um with you know the the, the um needing to smoke and so anyhow but today I gave it a uh old college try and I tried I I maybe done it maybe for two three minutes once and then another time this evening i tried again but it's something in the taste that that i don't like this really really foreign to me and maybe it's something that you have to get used to it's just not what i um i but again I'm I'm gonna try it again. I'm I, you know somebody told me that you have to use it a couple times before it the the whole drag and inhale, inhaling and the taste changes. So I'm not sure um, on what I'm going to do. Um, it's the uh, let's see you're easy for anyone. Don't share it. Trust me blue i've heard a lot about the blue ones but see i have this i'm coming from a place where i don't know anything about 
e-cigarettes nothing at all and um yeah i think i think you're right experts say that using the e-cigarette for real sig cessation does not work i totally agree because i know me and i'm one of the kind of people that once my mind has accepted and embraced a particular way of doing things that might be the virgo in me that you know it doesn't I, I, it's hard for me to switch switch it off um and so i i just i don't know i just don't like it and um but again i'm gonna give it a chance i might go since i'm i want to stop smoking and i want um to be healthier in 2014 um maybe i will go do some research and the only reason i use this is because it was free somebody they sent it to me and it was the value was there for me to at least to give it a try and that's what i did um but you know <sighs> everything doesn't work for everybody and I think when my mother stopped smoking it was cold turkey um, one day the doctor said told her because you know she's went through chronic kidney failure you know at, within the last two years but this was years ago and, and he said um, this is where you're heading this is where you're gonna be and it's not gonna be with your family do it stop quitting or die and <laughs> True, I do believe that e-cigarettes simply give smokers a way to smoke. Con I don't think I would, cause I'm not a you know I don't like going outside and smoke that much when it's cold. But um, I can see that you know I guess it, it's it's a it's it's a total crutch that I, I think that it kind of enables uh, bad behavior. But um, so I think if I'm gonna do it and uh, for it to work for me and my personality, I'll have to just quit cold turkey. Whether that happened or not, I don't know, but I'm always hopeful. And again, I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to use this little filter, this little cartridge thing that I got at a great discount. Um, and of course, the free charger. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use it until it runs out. And I guess, and maybe it's already running out. Maybe that's what it is. That's where you don't get a lot of vapor or smoke. Because I need a, not that I need the smoke. It's pretty, yeah. But I just, you know, it's just one of those things. Anyhow, we're going to take one more quick break. I'm going to come back and tell you guys who is recently single and on the market. And then we're going to wrap up. We'll be right back. Imagine a world where bullying isn't considered a normal part of childhood. A world where I'm not afraid to go to school. <laughs> to speak out. To be myself. Loser. A world where I'm not afraid to be caught alone. Come on, punk. We have the power to stop the bullying. Speak out. Speak up. Educate. Find out what to look for and how you can make a difference at bullying.org. Bullying is not kids being kids. It's not about good homes or bad homes. It's not a normal part of growing up. I shouldn't be afraid to get on the school bus. To turn on my computer. Message. Or walk to my locker. Did you know that a bully will stop his or her behavior in 10 seconds when their peers speak up? Use your voice. Hey, leave him alone. We have the power to stop bullying. Find out more at bullying.org. Bullying.org. Where you're not alone. Where you're not alone. Where you're not alone. Hey. 
I don't know why I don't play that song at the very end of the show because it sings good night. Does that kind of make sense? <laughs> but that's not kind of good night she's talking about. She's talking about she might be having a good night with a guy with two penises. You never know. Um, <laughs> that is that was Erica David with good night. I don't know why she hasn't blown up. She has that voice. She'll never be Queen B, just to know. And I want to say something. There's a little video floating around that says Beyonce is shady, that she threw some shade at Kelly Rowland during the earliest days of Destiny's Child as some kind of um uh, video where they're all introducing themselves and you know I'm always going to stand up for Queen B but I love I love Kelly Rowland I think the album or I will say the singles a few years back when I was still in Atlanta um, Kelly Rowland had that song with um, what's the young Jeezy it was oh I can't think of his name I should be ashamed of myself because um, his, his ex-wife lives in Atlanta um Dang, what is his name? Anyhow, she had that song, um, uh, Motivation. Remember Motivation? And I thought that was better than some of Beyonce's stuff out at the time. So I love me some Kelly Rowland. You know, she's a chocolate brown girl. She's curvy. I think she's gorgeous. Um, but she's doing her thing. We don't have to worry about Kelly. So anyhow, how the video, there's I think a little Vine video or whatever. And she was introducing herself. She was, it was her. She was the first person. And then... If Beyonce rules the world, y'all better recognize. <laughs> um, it was Kelly Rowland, then it was Latavia, then it was Latoya, and Latoya Luckett. And if you guys remember Latoya Luckett, um, she actually had some stuff out too uh, a few years ago. I don't know why her, because her second name was really, really good. I don't know why. Maybe Beyonce put a stop to that. I doubt it. But uh, she had that song. Um, Damn it, I cannot remember anything. I'll look it up on my iPod and I'll tell you in a minute. But Latoya, she has some good stuff out. And they've all made peace with, except for that Latavia chick. I think she's still trying to get paid. But thing is, they still own the Destiny's Child brand. I don't know if if Matthew knows. Um, <laughs> Queen B is why God is not fair. I know that's right. Um, but I don't know if Matthew knows purchase them out and they're not part of the group but she in the most recent album the, the new visual album that Beyonce just kind of crushed all the female competitors out there with um you know they're mentioned on the album at least Latavia is Latoya is not because she wasn't part of the group because if you look at the videos they was on um Starship Star search with Ed McMahon and they lost to a, another group but um, but anyhow Kelly is saying that she during the video she says and Beyonce's at the end so Kelly says I am 
the second lead vocalist and i thought that was kind of funny that's shady in itself but whatever and so she says uh, i'm the second lead lead vocalist and beyonce's looking at her neither the girls in the middle they don't even react beyonce coughs and she kind of cuts her eyes but i don't think she was doing that i just think she was and they were in their teens then you know how teenage girls can be and you know they're in a group but you know i'm sure her father was pushing her to the forefront you know she, she he was like uh beyonce you are donna donna ross and you want these bitches out the group mary wilson cindy bird song and the and florence with well, florence ballard they are out the group but no, she's donna ross baby but uh <laughs> and it's so funny remember what the, the scandal was she played dina in dream girls for the movie which was phenomenal um even though jennifer hudson did get top billing and won the awards but uh she played the part that she that, that people want to put on her she's a star she was always a star and that's what she wanted to be and i don't think she was throwing shade so all the b stands and beehive you know beyonce didn't do all that y'all need to leave her alone with well, the b stands didn't, but y'all need to leave her alone <laughs> Funny stuff, though. Um, lastly, there is a new band on the market, um, Sexy Hot Latino, ex Menudo member. Remember Menudo when they had their little um, group on Saturday morning? Ricky Martin ends his relationship with his longtime partner. Um, Ricky and Carlos have mutually agreed to end the relationship but continue to be united by friendship and their shared experience, a spokesperson said. And, um, you know, they had those babies. Well, he had those babies by a surrogate. And, um, but, you know, here's, here's the drama. It says they was in an open relationship. So anytime you have open relationships, that causes problems. So, you know, he's single, he's young, he's rich, he's gorgeous. He's not going to have a problem finding another boyfriend. On the other hand, um, I'm going to wait for till the ex. Yeah, they're saying they're friends now. And, you know, there are people are threatening him like, yeah, don't you say nothing. There's going to be a tell all. He will be on Oprah. He will be on Wendy because, you know, she'll get the tea. But anyhow, so we'll see how that story unfolds. Well, thank you guys tonight. Yeah, Ricky Martin is. Um, uh, 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 really really handsome do i believe michael is not dead michael who or michelle that michelle michael who are you talking about do you believe michael is not dead michael jackson mm. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you guys for listening. Thanks, Debbie. Thanks, High Five. Thanks, Donovan from the Off Limits show. Um, oh, Michael Jackson is dead as a doornail. <laughs> I think he's dead. Um, but hmm, that might be something to research. But thing is, if he if he's not dead, um, we'll never know. You know, if you like, because they say he could be, I guess, on an island with Tupac and Biggie. For all we know. Um, but into you, <laughs> thank you guys for listening. It's been kind of a fun show, different new people in the chat room tonight. But hey, it is what it is, and I like I said, I don't have problems with anyone. Um, I try to conduct myself uh, fun and open, and um, that's all I really can say about that. And um, I cherish my friends, and I and I and I also am open to new acquaintances and things of that nature so um hmm good night everybody and uh, this is the five by five late night i'm here you're here we're here and it's the five by five good night <laughs> Bye.